What is going on? Darth Sticks here, and today we are doing the week 68 update of our free to play account. And we are going to Relic Sith Eternal Emperor. If you haven't already, check out that video of the full unlock guide. Uh, we go tier one through uh, five in that one. And so you guys can see how we have done it so far and what it really took to get to where we're at today. Uh, and you can see we are also going to give it the last Zeta that we needed. Um, so we do finish off Sith Eternal Emperor there and going to Relic. Uh, we're going to get to five at least, and I think we're going to be just short of uh, going to seven, which is kind of where I want to put it for right now at least, and we'll probably go to eight at some point, uh, but we do have um, some other characters I do want to get to relics as well, so we are going to keep working on this. Uh, definitely next week we'll get uh, some more uh, relic levels. Uh, I know I'm going to be short on the uh, green signal data and we might be short on some other pieces as well uh we got pretty close though so i'm happy with that we've worked pretty hard here and we are actually going to get it to six so and then yeah we're going to be short i think on the next one um but that is okay so there we go and yeah we're short on bronzium wiring and a couple of those signal data things yeah it's been a tough grind there uh, but we're going to continue to work on that, and we will work on Sith Eternal Emperor. we still got to do his ultimate as well to unlock that. And you can see we've got some decent mods uh, for him. Uh, so we'll take a few of these to gold, uh, and we'll calibrate at some point on some of those. Uh, speed isn't super critical on him, uh, but it is nice to have it. I'd rather get some more... Uh, potency and stuff and health is is the main thing that I'm looking for on him uh, so we do definitely need to get some more uh, stuff so we can do our mods and we'll work on that as well uh, so we're at a pretty good place uh, definitely the more gear or the more uh, relic levels you put on the more health he's going to have um, because of his mastery and everything it's going to help his uh, just have a bigger health pool which is the main thing. Mandalorian here, original Mandalorian, we are going to take up to uh, 12. Uh, and then we're going to um, Basil Sean. Can't do anything on her. Uh, just looking at a few of these crate raid characters. Uh, Hermit Yoda, can't do anything on him. I got to get him to Relic 3 at least for uh, the Jedi Knight Luke journey. So are looking at that. I would like to get Watt up a little bit higher as well, uh, just so he has a little bit more survivability there to help out Sith Eternal Emperor and some of those. And um, since we are looking at that, and then just going through here and seeing if there's anything that I really, really want to do uh, right now. And then we're gonna go in here and Let's go ahead and look at our Sith. Um, yeah, Darth Sion, Basil Sean Fallen, you know, Darth Nihilus, we're getting close there. And uh, no, I don't want that. Uh, we are going to apply a few of these. We are using him occasionally as a pilot as well. We do need to work on that ship, which we're going to be working on once we start f farming uh, Finnick. Uh, so that will be a long at some point um trying to decide a lot of these i'm not going to use so for right now they'll just kind of there uh, but definitely get some of these apply these for her and then we do need to work on her leadership for sure that zeta is going to be super important uh to get this treya squad really up and running uh, but we've got to we're going to continue working on nihilus uh and then savage course is going to need some more as well we do give him another gear tier and we put a few of these on him uh, but really that omicron is where he's going to shine so yeah we've got a little ways to go need a zeta i think and then an omicron for asajj and then darth Sion. need to put mods on him and we will continue working on this sith triumvirate and uh put a couple of those other people with him uh, Basil of Sean Fallen, we are going to take here up to 
85. Uh, we do have some credits, so we're going to do that. Uh, and then just start upgrading her a little bit. Probably won't get super far, um, as we do have... Uh, we use quite a bit of gear on Sith Eternal uh, this week. Get him up and going. Uh, hmm, I'll go ahead and give her one more just to unlock that one. I uh, don't need it right now, but Basil Sean Fallen, 85, and a decent enough uh, gear 8, I guess. Uh, we'll keep working on her. We're going to need her for the Darth Revan unlock. And so we're going to keep, uh, we'll just apply some of these. And yeah, we're going to use quite a bit of materials. We just used quite a bit of materials for Sith Eternal. So that did drain us quite a bit. So going to take a little bit to get back up and going. Um, but we are at a pretty good spot, I feel like, uh, with this. Um, Sith Eternal, uh, we do need to work on Wat Tambor. And then we probably need to get armor up and going as well. So we're going to start uh, probably once we get a couple of either... Uh, some of our other farms done, we'll add that into our rotation. Um, and so that will be a good spot. I'm going to leave. Yeah, so that's a Zeta that we need. And then the Force Bond, right now we don't need it. So we're going to leave it off. Um, and we'll worry about that later. Um, so that is looking good. We'll apply some Zeta or some uh, mods to her. And we'll go ahead and take Annihilus up as well. Um, he could go to six stars, but I'm going to leave him at five. I just, I don't know. It's more superstition than anything. Um, Sith Assassin, we do have enough. We could take uh, up to uh, st seven star, actually. Um, but we'll leave it where it's at for now. And then everybody else. There we go. There's our nice Sith Eternal Emperor there. Um so yeah, I'm pretty happy uh, with where we're at right now. Go ahead and take, yeah, we'll leave, leave it there. Uh, so continue working on, yeah, Sith Triumvirate is one that we need to work on. Um, and then, yeah, so we apply a few levels mainly to people. So we'll get, we'll get those going and continue working on that. Uh, and then we will go ahead and uh, we're trying to stay top 10 most times in fleet. Um, we are kind of lagging behind, I feel like, a little bit there. So we do need to work on our um, our fleets a little bit, especially uh, I need to finish off Xanadu Blood. We took a little pause on that while I was getting tickets. Xanadu is back in the rotation. We're like um, maybe a week or two from getting him finally to seven stars. And then we are going to work on BAM is going to be our next relic. So that is going to help there. And you can see our Jedi Luke, uh, kind of our squads that we're working on for that. So that is going to take a little while. And there's a lot of characters there that are, that we need to get to relics. Uh, if we're going to go after Jabba, so we are going to continue to work on those, start farming shards for those uh, Java journey that we need. Go in and look at this uh, Chrysanthemum. Of course, we need uh, Han just needs to go to Relic 8. No big deal there, right? Gamorrean Guard, we do have all the way uh, just out of the shops. Uh, so he's seven stars. We at least got those shards. Uh, that's the main thing. I've just been trying to get shards for a lot of these characters as we've been um, working on Sith Eternal. So we can kind of go, we are gonna take a pause um, and not go full tilt into relicking a bunch of these characters. Uh, we're gonna build up some of our other teams and get our fleet. I really wanna get that executor fleet into a better spot, but we are using a ton of crystals right now for all kinds of things. And so we probably will not get it to seven stars this month, unfortunately, just because Count is free to play, and we are using crystals in a lot of places, and I need to up my fleet game. Uh, Greedo here, I think we can take him all the way up as well. Uh, I did see some cool comps with like Cad Bane, Greedo, Boba Fett, um, all those. So we may look at um, getting some of these Hut Cartel that are really good for that raid. Um, up and running, but Bushleya and 
Chrysanthemum were in that team as well, and they're going to take a while to farm. So, um, yeah, the Jawa is going to take a while. Relic 7 on C3PO shouldn't be um, too bad because uh, we are using him. Uh, we'll need him for CLS anyways, and or I mean Jedi Knight Luke, and we'll use it on the CLS team. So and probably getting him to 7, not not too big of a an ask there. Uh, Mob Enforcer will give her a few stars. Uh, this is just so we kind of have an accurate picture of how many more shards we need, um, how close we are to any of these. Um, definitely, we're going to leave a few of these till later on in the journey, and some of them will we'll push towards the front just to get them up and going. So we do have four stars there on Chrysanthemum. Uh, just from the marquee, and then I think he came around again, and like you could get him off of some shards for certain things. Skiff Guard Lando uh, is there, and then yeah, so we're in pretty good position. Outrider uh, is definitely going to be one. We're farming that right now. Uh, we dropped uh, uh, the Rebel uh, Y Wing to continue. Uh, to have enough shards to do or enough energy really to get because uh, we're trying to finish off tie defender uh, once we get that back we'll go back and get rebel y-wing going again uh, so that is kind of the plan there uh, set the turtle keep working to get that ultimate unlocked uh, but it is going to take a little bit of time and we have focused back on getting some of our other characters so we are going to slow farm that ultimate, but he really does need it to do his stuff. We are going to apply um, all this stuff just so we know where we're at gear-wise uh, and what we need to be farming. Um, so we're going to keep working on signal data and everything like that. So um, we will continue doing that. Uh, Cad Bane, I need to work on his... Um, Mods is definitely something that needs to be worked on quite a bit. And then Relic him up some more um, just for that executor fleet. And then we need to get Ebonhawk to five stars for that reinforceability. Uh, and then I'll feel pretty good about that fleet for right now. Um, but yeah, so we've got a lot of work ahead of us still, obviously. Like we are, you know, still farming a lot of things uh, to get... Uh, going on this um, Karth is another one we've got to get to seven stars I would like to do that really soon actually um, just because we are using him in that uh, fleet or not in that raid so that is something we need to work on as well uh, for crate raid uh, but we are in a pretty good spot there we got above 500,000 if you guys haven't seen that video check that out uh, and that is going to be our week 68 update of this free to play account. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.